this is how we put them. Two days and not with the new servant. The new servant declared, I have found fault for you and do not kill. I have now met you and can approach on them. I will pay the party debt and identify me freely. So, the way I draw it here is the new servant agreed. Now that we're mic'd up, we can come in here and show you neutron bunnies. The neutron bunnies. Two down quarks and an up quark. Three gluon whiskers. That's the neutron. Neutron bunny looks like an Easter egg. Because you can remember, neutron bunnies, the eggs are made in the sun. Neutrons are made in the sun. Looks like an Easter egg, neutrons. Two down quarks and up. The way neutron decays is the down quark turns into the up quark, which makes a proton out of the neutron. The neutron, by coming a smaller mass, has to create the mass of an electron, which is a beta particle. Beta decay, beta rays, Electrons is what the beta is. Beta minus the antineutrino. See the little squiggly line up on the new? Spelled new, Greek letter new. Squiggly antineutrino. Protons are nosies. Think of the D is only on the nose. There's one down quark in a proton. Two down quarks give the ears to the neutron bunny when it's drawn more correctly. The gluon whiskers, I actually have six here, but there's usually only three for the neutron. The three are bound to the proton, which is in deuterium. But since it's an introductory thing, neutron bunny looks like he's got gluon whiskers. Gluon whiskers. So the neutron bunny goes to now the sleepy proton. All the protons that were made in the Big Bang were just sleeping, sleeping out in the universe. All the neutrons. Then when gravity pushed them together, the neutrons were made from the protons. Protons were asleep. They're awake now in the core of the sun. Whoa, they're awake. They're bumping into each other at 15 million degrees. The protons turn into the neutron bunnies. The neutron bunnies. We're just being ridiculous now, aren't we? So anyway, see how more colorful it is. Neutron bunnies bigger. Fix our sleeves here. Neutron bunnies bigger than the proton. The down quark should probably be drawn bigger because the U is thicker here, but the down is more massive than the up. Beta anti-neutrino. You get a positron, it's going to be a neutrino. Let's see what other drawings we have for your enjoyment. See if we did this one better because something is off on the other one. Uranium. 
Uranium-238. Hit with a neutron bunny. Went to make Uranium-239. Still 92 protons each. A gamma ray is emitted. Uranium-239 down here will now let a neutron, the, probably this neutron that added, now does a beta decay to make Neptunium. 239, that's the mass. But notice 92 protons in a uranium to 93 for Neptunium. A neutron turned into a proton by emitting a beta ray with an antineutrino. This was all from the down quark and the neutron turning into the up quark of the proton. This was the first reaction that Macmillan did at Cal Berkeley, that Glenn Seaborg went on to carry on his research and made plutonium next, element number 94. Beta decay again. Beta boy jumps out of the neutrino, and there's that S word again. We didn't want that. This was the one. We're going to introduce our alpha fishy here. The alpha particle, in order for you to remember it, is going to be an alpha decay. What's an alpha particle look like? Two protons. Two neutrons. When we look at the chart of the nuclides, we find this is particularly stable. It's two neutrons, one neutron with a proton, deuterium. That's happy. If we had helium three with two protons and neutrons, kind of happy. Two neutrons, two protons, the alpha particle. Alpha, the Greek letter alpha, is a fish. It's got a two plus charge on it, so we give it a little eye here. So now, when you see an alpha fish, you're going to know that it's two neutrons, two protons. It's got a mass of four, but we only care about the electromagnetic charge.